Hi, this is Grandma from Grandma in a Box, and I want to share with you project number two of my upcoming October box. Now, October is going to have a Halloween theme, so I'm so excited to share this with you, and I'm going to be shipping my box on October 3rd. So if you haven't ordered yet, please go to my website, grandmaonabox.com, and order by October 3rd. Now project two, what we're gonna use is the leftover chocolate from pro project number one. Then we're also gonna need your chocolate Cocoa Krispies, your gummy worms, the little container of uh, spooky little candy treats. We've got skulls and bones and eyes. And then your paper cups. We're gonna make these crunchy monster bites all you need to do is you add your Rice Krispie cereal in here. That's gonna give the bite its crunch. We're gonna mix that up a little bit. You don't have to mix it up the whole way. That's okay if some of the cereal shows. And then we're gonna put a spoonful into each of the paper cups. I'm just gonna do a couple of them right now. And these take about five minutes to set up. So after you have your crispy chocolate in the paper cup, then you're gonna stick a gummy worm in there, put it way down inside, and then we're gonna take our candy sprinkles here and we're gonna decorate each one of them with a few little things like a bone or a skull, maybe a couple of eyeballs to make it look like a monster has melted right in that cup. There's a little skull. Anyhow, and if you would like, you can also take one of the sprinkles from one of your earlier projects. Here's this rainbow, here's this um, Halloween sprinkle. If you'd like, you can take a little pinch and add it on top to give it a little bit more color. Any of the sprinkles will work. The purple would look really good on this too. So here's just an example of what three of them might look like. And you've got lots of toppings to make all six of your monster bites. This is gonna be posted on YouTube, so you can follow along when you're making your own Monster Bites um, when you get your box. And if you have any questions, you can always just send Grandma an email or a message, and I'm gonna be doing um, Project 3 next, so I hope you'll stay tuned for my next video. Love, Grandma.